This is a lesson on uh, representing numbers. It is lesson three of unit two, whole numbers. Um, so what we're going to be looking at is ways to uh, show numbers other than in, stan in standard form, which these are standard form. And uh, we're going to be also comparing the numbers to see which one's larger or smaller. So um, above here, it says large numbers can be difficult to visualize. You can use a place value chart to help get a better feel for larger numbers. Complete the chart below. So we'll do uh, the first two numbers together, and then I'll let you do these last ones on your own. Um, so it's a different type of place value chart than I normally get you to do. Um, this one is more so showing you how large a number is rather than showing the place value. Uh, but it is, it's sort of like backwards, I guess. So, um, no, it's different. It's different. I'll show you. Okay, so we want to know how many times a thousand can fit into 350,000. Okay, so then we can do a uh, crossing off zero strategy where we have uh, one, two, three zeros here, and then we would cross off these one, two, three zeros here and ignore them. I'm not going to do it because we need to use this number many times, but um, that leaves us with 350. So that means that 1,000 can fit into 350, uh, I mean 350,000, 350 times. Okay, we can do the same thing with hundreds. We have one, two zeros, and so that we, we would cross off one, two zeros and write down the rest of the number. So we would have 3,500 times. Hundreds could fit into that number. How many times could tens fit into that number? Um, one more zero compared to here because 10 says one less zero to knock off. So we've got 35,000 times. 10, 10 could fit into 350,000, 35,000 times. And then ones is just the number itself. So like that, 350,000 times. Okay, the same thing with here. Um, how many times can 10,000 fit into 90? 910,000. Let's see how many zeros. There's one, two, three, four zeros. So one, two, three, four zeros are knocked off and we're left with 91. Okay, then we have three zeros here. So then we have 910. And then we have two zeros. So we knock off two zeros and leave the other ones. Then we have tens. We only take one zero off and write the rest. And the last one, there are no zeros, so we leave it all the same. Okay, make sure you copy this down. And then what you need to do is pause the video and fill this in. And then uh, once you're finished, play the video again and then compare your answers to the ones that I will put in there and see if you got it correct. Okay, so here's the first answer. We've got 28, 280. This one's already written, 2,800. This one is 28,000. This one's 2,000. 280,000. Next up, we've got 50,000. Okay, then we've got 5, 50, 500, 5,000, and 50,000. And the last one is 20, 200, 2,000, 20,000, and 200,000. You may notice that there's a pattern. Every time you go down, there's an extra zero. Okay, and then a couple uh, lessons, lessons ago, we reviewed um, what? The different ways to represent a number are, but let's look at them again with a little bit bigger numbers. Um, so we have got, uh, it says in 2003 there were 656,792 people who attended the Women's World Cup soccer matches. Represent this number in the following ways. So in a place value chart, so it's different from the one above and I'll show you how to do it. So every digit has a place value depending on its position. This one's easier to make. So you want to make a chart like, oh, that's not very straight. Okay, here we go. I got it. So you may want to pause and copy. Um, but so we've got hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. And then all we do is place uh, the numbers, each digit, in its appropriate place value. So since this is 600,000, that six goes in the hundred thousands. Then the five goes in the ten thousands. The six is a thousand. The seven is a hundred. The nine is in the tens place and the two is in the ones place. And that's how we represent that number in thousands. Then we've got expanded forms. So remember that's where we have the plus signs and uh, we put zeros after each one of the place values to hold its value. Because for example, this is six 
um, 100,000. So if I just put six, that would just be a six. It would be ones. So we need to put the zeros to show place value. So there's 600,000, and then we put a plus sign. And then we go to the next one. We've got five. We put zeros to hold that 50,000 value. Then we've got a six. And we need to put three zeros to hold the thousand value. Then we've got plus seven and put two zeros to make it 100. And we put a nine and a zero after to make it 90. And then we put a two all by its lonesome because it is a once. And uh, so it says it shows the sum of the value of all the digits of numbers. So if you were to type this whole thing into your calculator, you would come up with just the uh, standard form right here, this number right there. Okay, and then if um, a zero is one of the digits, it is not represented in expanded form. For example, if we had a zero in place of, like if we had a zero here instead of a six, we would not write that at all. We would just leave it like that. It would just be 6,000 plus 50,000 plus 700 plus 90 plus two. It's going to be wrong if you do that, uh, if you add plus zero plus 700. Okay, and then on the back, I've written the number up here just so that we don't have to uh, keep referring up, but we're going to use uh, words. So we just basically, the way that we say this is the way that we write it. And make sure that you do not use the word and in any part of writing this whole number. Okay, so we're going to say, and we have to say the place value. So six, oh, whoops, not. Okay, try again. We write the word six, not so like that. So 600. And write small because this is going to be a while. Six hundred uh, fifty six thousand seven hundred ninety two. Notice how. As I was saying, uh, notice how I did not put the word and here, like people normally say, 656,792. Okay, so moving on, a standard form. And standard form is the easiest one. So numbers with more than four digits have a space every three, every three digits, starting with um, grouping the stuff on the right first. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. So 656,000. So 656,792. Um, so see how they're grouped like this? So that it's easier to read. Um, now what I mean by every three digits, if we didn't have this six here, we would write it as 56,700. 92. So they get grouped on this side by threes. Then if we have another digit here, then it gets grouped. Then if I had like a two here, then it's all by itself. Okay, that's how you do that. Now remember when we're comparing and ordering numbers, um, we use the greater than, less than, or equal to sign. So this one means greater than, so that's right there. This one means less than, that one is right there, and this one means equal to. I know it looks like a smiley, but anyways. Um, and then to remember which way to put it, always remember that the alligator wants to eat the bigger number. So like this. So the six is bigger, so that means that the open mouth is towards the six, and it's pointing at the smaller number, the three. Okay, so if I had uh, 45 and 36, then my alligator would eat the bigger number. Or if I had 24 and 54, then my alligator would eat the bigger number. Okay, um, your assignment is on the, which I haven't uploaded this video because I'm just making it, but it's on page 45 to 46, yeah, 45 to 46. Then it's numbers 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 13. As you 